A tale from the Nigerian Civil War graces the screens in Trino's new production, The Encounter. Although the short film is woven around real-life characters from the Biafran War, it simply told a fictional story. The Encounter is a screen adaptation of a story written by an historian, Henry Onyema, who wishes to draw mainstream attention to the history of the country. I created it on the basis that let us take history out let us just take history out of um, the classroom. Let's take history out from being a boring and uh, uninteresting thing. <laughs> Let's give it life. Let's give it spark. And uh, I believe that, in a nutshell, is what the encounter is all about, making our history an interesting one. The encounter creates one final meeting between two former friends and prominent participants of the Biafran War. General Odumego Juku and Nigeria's first international athletic medalist turned soldier Emmanuel Iferjuna. Director Tolo Ajayi had a difficult task adapting the story for the screens. You and I go a long way. Our families have known each other since we were little. My uncle used to always treat you whenever you fell ill. I joined the army because of you. The first Oxford man in the military. Uh, I found out that there isn't any record of Emmanuel Olifia Juna. Um, as a matter of fact, we've, we managed to find in the um, footage of him actually making the jump. It took me several hours on the internet. Um, I went through all of the BBC reels. Uh, I ended up finding it in some obscure corner uh, of YouTube. Uh, the Canadian Film Board kept records of it, and his name wasn't even there. Um, so if you, when you do see the film, and I encourage you to make sure you watch the film, you will discover that uh, there only about only two photographs of this. The, most people can't even make a connection to our history and some of these people that played a part in the history. And it's important that we know uh, the history, whether it's in one direction or what people have said. If anything at all, the film would enable us to go back and make up our minds uh, what he was, as opposed to distorting history. He casted relatively young actors in the film, including Amaratuku Ono, who played Emmanuel Ifeajuna, and Gregory Ojefua, who played the Biafran general Ojuku. Embodying the historical character of Ojuku was challenging for Gregory, both intellectually and physically. The plus-size model, voiceover artist, and actor had to mimic Ojuku in speech and mannerisms. He wasn't even initially, and Gregory knows that, he wasn't initially my first choice, but he was a very convincing audition. So the auditions themselves were um, a testament to commitment. So people that actually got into the film, and it was a really tough choice, were really people that uh, were strong. And, and quite frankly, I called a lot of, I, you know, I've been, I worked on Tinsel, so I had a couple of friends and I asked, oh, you know, do you want to come try for this? It, it was difficult um, to, for, uh, for them to be at that level. So um, I can say it again, I think I'm working with the, the cream of the crop right now. Stop that nonsense. Acting like a bloody Nigerian. Pick him up, now. Becoming a man of such importance definitely will never be easy for anybody. I had to research, uh, went to the internet, um, tried to find out some, find some old books and all that. Um, one, the way he speaks uh, is not just um, the usual British accent. He spoke pure Queen's English. So that um, put me on the spot where, um, following the time, from when I got the script to the audition, I was speaking that way even when I was speaking to my friends so that I could actually internalize that ability. Then um, certain motions, it's mannerisms, the little I could get from the videos I got off the internet, I was able to actually imbibe them too. Um, also, I called a couple of my uncles who um, were able to see him firsthand, uh, either directly or you know on the TV back then, and uh, got one or two pointers which helped me help me deliver it. Um, it also, uh, apart from being difficult and challenging, was fun. 
Because while trying to learn about this person, I realized that he wasn't entirely who I thought he was prior to my research. And I'm happy that um, aside being able to play such a great um, man in Nigerian history and African history as a whole, I also have a deeper understanding of this man. In recent times, the headlines have been dominated by activities of some people in connection with Biafra. Ajayi quickly distances himself and the encounter from this group of people. We had a lot of this that's happening now, the headlines you're seeing today, was planned. We didn't, we're not milking, <laughs> God forbid. None of this was planned. This was, it just happened to be a story that came across my table. Um, we, we cast, we first did one round, then we waited, then we did another round, then we waited. Um, I spent about three months doing research, you know, because we just didn't want to get it wrong. Um, and the more you read about the characters, the, you know, about the people, the actual people, the more information I could pass on to other members of the team. I could pass on to the costume designer, I could pass on to, um, we had a mood board of how everything should look. So uh, my job is to interpret the material and present it. And if you're a director and your soul is anchored in creating things, you don't, need, you don't necessarily need an ethnic filter to be able to tell the story, if you know what I'm trying to say. So um, in trying to find, in, when I was doing the research, I was able to, for me, find the core of what the story was trying to say and um, present it and also pass the information to the many people who also were collaborating with me on this. Um, basically everyone for us to actually make the film. According to the fictional account, the final meeting between Ifeajina, a prisoner of war, and Ojuku, a Biafran general, changed the direction of the Nigerian civil war, describing both men as true lovers of peace. I joined the army because of you. 